<gasps> hey guys, what's up? Here, play our song. I think we can play our song, guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I will. All right, look at guys. Look at this beautiful sunset. This is my favorite spot on this house. My favorite spot is the roof. The roof of this house. Look at you guys. This this story of this house is a miracle. Okay, I'm watching. Okay, go. Okay, Legend has a birthday trick. Wow, that was awesome. You're the bomb. Oh, wait, no, no, your chain. But he fixed it. Okay. Go, 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 go. Good. That was awesome. Good job, you guys. The boys wanted to show you guys their tricks, but look at this. I got to show you guys. This is my favorite secret spot. Well, it's not really secret because everyone can see us on the, but look at my mountains right there. Beautiful. Our windows. These are our high windows in our extension room. And then look at this beautiful sunset. Look at how gorgeous this is. This sunset needs some like buttons and needs some serious love right now, especially after the day we had. Seriously. Isn't this beautiful? We got all this beautiful green trees. There's my beautiful green tree in the front yard. This is my favorite thing about this house. I have a lot of favorite things, but so gorgeous, right? That sunset, boom. Okay, so if you're new here, I'm Tia Stokes. We're jamming to our song. I think we can listen to the song, you guys. I don't think we're blocked from this song. I don't know though. And look at the painted chimney, yes. Look at, remember when I started painting it when I was, is he waking up? No. The chimneys are painted from my good friends. Cambria, look at how beautiful those chimneys are. I started those before I got diagnosed and I couldn't finish them and it was driving me nuts. And so they finished them. But if you're new here, I'm Tia Stokes. I'm 34 years old. I am a mom of five, major legend maze Taz and Rose. I'm married to the handsome Andrew Stokes. And just 52 days ago, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. And we've been documenting our journey this way. And hopefully YouTube, just leave lots of good comments. If you guys leave lots of good comments below and good juju, then hopefully YouTube will just love us so much they'll continue to let us document you know because it's been really fun and a good experience um but i wanted to show you guys my favorite spot today yes so today i went into the clinic this morning at 10 that's my appointment time is 10. cambria took me we were there for like three hours three and a half hours um my numbers were all low but we all knew that was going to happen so my numbers were all low um, my platelets were eight today, so I did get platelets. I got special platelets today. Um, they've had to like fly in special platelets just for us. So yes, they're giving me the shot. I don't know if that's, that's what the shot's called. It's the shot that sparks your bone marrow. So it could be that shot. I'm not exactly sure if that's the same shot. Um, can you go pause that? Oh yeah, please. Um, but that's the one where it's like, it wakes up your bone marrow and makes you yeah bougie platelets for tea <laughs> yeah no for reals because my body just eats up platelets my body will just normal platelets if I get normal platelets my body will just just eat them right up so they don't even they don't even do my body anything so I got platelets today I got saline today I got my shot today um and it was awesome. It was so fun to have Cam there today because she doesn't normally, and usually goes with me with my visits now. So it was fun to have Cam there. We did TikToks, of course, in the hospital that I'll be posting that were really, really fun. Um, but it was just a good day and I feel really good. I feel really, really good. Um, my white blood count is low, but they don't do like a white blood, um, what's it called? transfusion it's just red blood so I didn't get any red blood today so maybe I won't need red blood this time who knows maybe my body will just be like banging and just produce all the red blood cells come out you can come out if you stay safe okay should we let Maze come out 
yes, the blasts are still zero, you guys. Still, still, still zero. So thank you for all of the prayers and the love. You guys are amazing. Major has some, come here, Major. Major has some cancer. He's been reading a book. Here, show him the book. So our friends in St. George, her husband cured her with cancer. This is her husband. Cured her with cancer naturally. And so she sent me this book and she's been like telling me to read it and stuff. And so I have it in one of my bathrooms. And I can't believe that my son, he, we were, me and him were laying out on the grass today, just like hanging out in the sun because it felt good. And he's like, I can't step on the soil because cancer. And he started telling me all these like things that he was learning about cancer. So he's going to tell us just a few things that what caused cancer or prevent cancer. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, whoa. A bird just flew right by my arm. Did you guys see that? Should have Okay, Mace, Mace, maybe not tonight, okay? Tomorrow night will be your night. Maybe we'll just start doing one at a time, and that will be fun. Okay, hurry, tell okay. us. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you guys see that bird? Okay, that was my mom. Was that not my mom? Or what? Did you guys, she flew right under my armpit. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. And if you're new here too, my mom uh, just recently graduated this life about um, two weeks ago now, two weeks ago. And so we know that she is a part of this live because this was one of her favorite things ever was my lives at 8.30 every night. She had her alarm ready to go. So, okay, did you find something to share yeah. with us? I said no, tomorrow. Um, so... I still have to tell him the car story. Yeah, okay, so the... The, um, there's things that cause pers um, cancer. Like farts. Like, Just like, kidding. <laughs> like what? They're like parasites, and symptoms of parasites in the body can include diarrhea, sometimes alternating with constipation, and ashen complexion, gas, a gurgling or growling If you stomach, have gas, you guys. A growling, gurgling or growling stomach, an increase or decrease of the appetite, Anorexia, blue, anorexia, yeah. bulimia. <laughs> so all those things kind of and have to do with inability to gain or lose weight. Yep, that was mom, huh? Low grade fevers, coughing hyperactively or lethargy, grinding of teeth at night, fatigue after eating, allergies, asthma, snoring, abdominal, abdominal. Pains. So, hold pause. These are all symptoms that he's reading from a book of cancer, which is kind of crazy because I didn't know he was reading this book. He was, um, he's almost done with it, actually. He loves books. In Pursuit of Health. Yeah, the book is called The Pursuit of Optimum Health. Optimum Health. That's what it's called. So, it's a really good book. But um, a lot of those symptoms I had. I had like 99.9% .9 of those symptoms. So, crazy, right? Um, okay, anything else? Yeah. Um... Give him a Dizziness, thumbs up, guys. Make nausea, sure you're liking this. Anemia, restlessness, seizures, reactical it itching, insomnia, vaginal itching, shortness of breath, intestinal bleeding, low-grade infection, blood sugar problems, colon br blockages, tumor-like masses, Irritable. Tell them what, but tell them earlier what you were telling me about what I should be eating for oh. to help with my cancer. No, just tell them the, the basics. You don't have to read it to them. Like raw foods and, and cooked foods have a toxicated. Um, so try to eat raw, yes, huh? Yeah. Raw like fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. How about, um, should I be eating bread? Yeah, no. No, no bread. Should no I, sugar. No sugar and no what? And no carbs. Carbs, yes. He is, he is, isn't he impressive? He loves to read. So he told me, I didn't even know he was reading that book. And then he came out. And now, like, honestly, I've been thinking a lot about, like, my eating. Because you guys are always asking me about my eating. And I'm like, I'm just told to eat. Like, the doctors in the hospital just tell me to eat whatever, you know. And um, and my, my, my taste buds, like, I really don't even want, like, fruit or vegetables, to be honest. And actually, I just started today wanting some. But um, I was telling, I was just kind of thinking about a lot on my mind. Like, maybe I should be eating better. Like, I probably shouldn't be eating Oreo ice cream every single night for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't be eating Oreos and cookies at 12 o'clock at night before, <laughs> before.
before um, bedtime and I probably shouldn't be having bagels and cream cheese for every breakfast and so um, and so I really have been thinking of a lot and then I had no idea who was reading that book and then today we were laying on the grass just talking and he's like oh soil it causes cancer and I was like what and then he went and got the book he's like I've been reading this book right now and He's almost done with it and he started filling me in on, on all the stuff that I need to be doing for my cancer. So, which encourages me as a mom to do a little better for my cancer, for my kids, for major. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to do better? No. Oh, what? You already do better. Oh, I you already, already better. I already do better. Yes, green me smoothies. Green me smoothies, I love them. Okay, so thank you major for that. Yeah. He's amazing. So I'm going to tell you guys the car story, which is Whoa. so crazy, mm -hmm. insane. So today, hold on, let's see, should we go? You guys want to see the sunset some more? Let's sit right here. Yeah, so you guys can see the sunset back there. Oh, wait, let's sit like this. Okay, right there. There we go. Okay, so make sure you give Major a like and subscribe. Okay, guys, if you're new here, he did a good job. Okay, so I... um. So today, me and Camber went to my doctor's appointment and Andy texts me and he goes, where's the Escalade? That's what he said. He's like, where's the Escalade? And I'm like, I don't know. Where is the Escalade? And he's like, and he, anyways, he's like, it's not here. And then Cam's like, yeah, I noticed that the Escalade was gone. Um, hey, Maze and Legend. Maze and Legend. We'll call it an early night. You guys won't be able to stay up late. Ma Legend and Maze. We go grab my drink, bud. Sorry. <laughs> we have real life over here still going on. Um, so anyways, so Cam's like, yeah, I noticed that the Escalade was gone too, like in when we left. And I said, um, and I was like, okay, hey, that's weird. So anyways, so obviously the Escalade was stolen. So they, it was stolen and Andy calls the police while I was, so all this, he calls the police, they come, they, you know, take, whatever they do. I don't know what they do, but they took information down, all that stuff. And while I was at the hospital, you guys saw, I posted, I, well, I told Andy, I wasn't going to post it. Cause I was like, uh, what's the chances that someone's going to report a missing car or see my missing car, you know? And so I wasn't going to, and I told Cam, I'm like, I'm going to, I think I'm going to share this on my, Insta, on my stories. What the heck? Like who, who cares? You know? And, um, maybe someone will see it. And then Andy, so I text Andy, I'm like, I'm going to post this on my stories. And he's like, okay, go for it. I thought he was going to say, no, don't post, post it on your stories to you. Like, that's ridiculous, you know? So anyways, so I post on my stories. And I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram stories, but you saw it. If you were there, you saw that. And I described the car, I described the year. I said, and I was just kind of like, me and Andy both today were just kind of like, whatever. Like, this is insane to 2020, first we get cancer, then my mom graduates, then our car gets stolen. Like what the freak, like what else is gonna happen, first you know? chop saw. Yeah, oh yeah, the chop saw got stolen. So we were just kind of like not really upset, but not really like anything. We're just kind of numb now to like things happening. <laughs> now when things happen, we're just kind of like, okay, whatever. Like we have to move on, we can't like sit there. So anyways, <laughs> so anyways, um, we, so anyways, we uh, come home, me and Cam come home, and the Escalade obviously is still gone. And and um, we are, we're, oh yeah, we had dinner, Cam and them stayed for dinner, all that stuff, we had dinner and all that, and tonight. And then Andy comes out and he's like, no, this is what happened first, I'll tell you what happened first. I was feeling kind of sad about the car being stolen. I was taking a lot of the blame because I've had, I had a few people say today, well, you put your address on YouTube, which I get it. Like that was, I probably, I shouldn't have done that, but I'm very naive and I'm like my mom. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> He's so cute to me. I'm very naive. I'm like my mom, I think. And that's a problem that I have. I think everybody's good. I think everybody loves everybody. I think there's only good people in this world. I get it. There's bad people too. I get it. Like, but I just think everybody loves and is happy and happy, happy, dapper, dapper, right? So I was feeling really bad today and cause I had a few people say, well, you put your, um, you know, it, social media, your, your, all your social media stuff, like people are gonna find you. And if you put yourself out there, like you're gonna, um, people are gonna, crazy people are gonna get to you because it's easy to find. And 
Yeah, and so I was honestly, and this is my honest against feelings, I was feeling really bad, and I felt like I put my family's life in jeopardy. Like, I, I, I just was, like, thinking the worst thoughts. Like, oh, my gosh, this was a psycho person that just, like, came and got my car, and the next thing they're going to do is come in my house and steal my medicine and maybe kill us and blah, blah, blah. Like, I was literally just thinking the worst things because of my social media, and I started crying to my husband because I felt really, really bad. And, um, I felt really bad cause I'm just like, man, maybe social media is horrible. Like it's, I am like, I'm putting my family's life in jeopardy and I am just the worst thing ever. And so Andy comes out and finds me and I'm crying on the porch and he comes and he's, he gives me a good talk, of course. And Andy goes, Tia, he goes, you're doing so much good on social media. He's like, everything you put out there is good. Right. And I said, yeah, I'm like, it is good. And he goes, well then stop. Like, don't think like that. He goes, do you think Christ wants us to do good until something bad happens? Or do you want, do you think he wants us to be, do good? And even when the bad happens, still do good. And I thought about it and I was like, yeah, he wants us to still do good. Like even when bad happens, he wants us to do good. And I was crying and he goes, Tia, it's not your fault. Like this could have happened to anybody. And anyways, Andy gave me the best pep talk, of course, cause I was feeling really bad that this was my fault. And, and it was a big, like, should I just quit this? Should I just stop doing Instagram and stop putting my stuff on YouTube? Like, I love it. Like I enjoy it. It's been such a great way to document my family. Like we have fun doing it. And I was really questioning it. And Andy gave me like the best pep talk ever. You guys, literally like an hour later, the cops called, the cops called Andy and said, we have your car. And so Andy comes out and I was hanging out with the kids out on the lawn and he goes, we have your car. And he, so Andy's like, Tia, I need you to take me to the, to the, um, police right now. Cause they have our car. And I'm like, what? Like I was shocked that they found our car even at all. So we go to, um, we drive, I drive Andy to, to our car spot. And the police is there and there's this girl that comes out and she just comes out and she's like, Tia. And the cop goes, the cops go, it was that girl right there. And I was like, what? Her name is Kaylee. I think it's Kaylee or Kylie. I can't remember. But she, you guys, this was a huge testimony. This is like a huge tender mercy and a testament of like that Heavenly Father is telling me I'm not done yet here on social media. Yes, by divine design, Danielle, for sure. So she comes out and she's like, and he goes, it was that girl right there. And I go, you, like you saw my, you're the one that found my car. She's like, yeah, I'm, um, she goes, I saw your stories on Instagram. I follow you on Instagram. And I saw your stories this morning on Instagram that you had, your, st your car was stolen. And she goes, and later on this afternoon, we came to my father-in-law's house, my father-in-law's house for dinner. And I saw your car and I had to, I had to go to my husband and go, Oh my gosh, is that, is that, is this, this car? She goes, I think that's car stolen. That's what she said. Cause it was parked right across the street from her father-in-law's car. And she goes, I think that car is stolen. And her husband's like, no, she goes, yeah, I am pretty sure I saw that on Tia's story today. Like, so she goes back to my stories and she sees that it was black. It had tinted windows. It was the same shape. I you know, the way I described the car. And then she also said, um, the hot mess sticker, you guys, the, I love hot mess on my car sticker that I'd put on my stories. She, that's, that sticker was on there. And so she, her and her husband were both like, oh my gosh, that's the car, that's the car, that's Tia's car. I don't know this girl. She's followed me on Instagram for, uh, before I was even diagnosed with cancer. And she said that she just loves following me. She said she always checks my stories every day just to see what I'm up to. And because she loves seeing what our family's doing and what I'm doing because she, I, she just loves it, I guess. And she's like, I just happen to, I just check your stories every day to see what's going on. And she goes, and as soon as I knew that it was your car, I saw the, I love hot mess sticker. She goes, I called the police and uh, I, yeah. And that's how it all happened. Isn't that insane? So not only like did a miracle happen that our car was found and the police even said, he goes, you're lucky your car was found in a whole piece. He goes, he goes, um, he goes, usually when they find cars, they don't find them in Utah County. He said, they don't find them in Utah County. They usually find them in Salt Lake. And second, um, they're usually ripped apart. Like the whole car is like ripped apart and stripped and stuff like that. And our car wasn't even touched. The only thing that we can't find is the keys. So they got rid of the keys. So Andy's still with our car trying to get um, keys made for it. Um, but 
it was a miracle. So that was a miracle. And then it was a tender mercy and an answer to my prayers today of my feelings of feeling like that it was my fault and that social media was like putting my family's life in jeopardy. And I get it. Me and Andy both are like, cause we both love it. Andy's been so awesome about, about, um, social media, like so awesome. And he knows like, he just, he just knows. Andy has a good perspective, you know, like he gets it. Like he gets that we're putting good out in the world and we need good in the world. And he gave me the best talk today. And for me to have that answer come through someone that was on social media was like huge, 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 huge. So, and it was a testament and a confirmation to me that it's not such a bad thing after all. Um, and I know that my mom and dad helped find our car. I know that and like the, the policeman said that the neighbors saw the car there at like three o'clock. So they, I don't know, we were joking around that they must've saw my stories on Instagram and we're like, hurry, we gotta, we gotta leave this car here because someone's going to see the hot mess sign or whatever on it. But hi, hi Jace. Oh, and the good thing is that. Um, it runs out of coolant fast. Yeah, well, it's not, it's an old car. So our Escalade, it's an old car. It's a 2004. It's like super, super old, but we love it because it's big enough for a whole family still. It's, um, it, it, we paid it off and it's like a, it's like kind of like our junker car, but it's not really a junker car. Um, so Andy was like, well, they're not going to be able to. No, 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 no. no. What's happening? Please, Heavenly Father, don't do this. Oh, there it is. Okay, are we back? Okay. So anyways, that's our story tonight. This is our beautiful view. I'm gonna bring you guys up here more often because this is my favorite, favorite spot to be at. And Major gave us some good tips tonight. Major, come down, I can't see you. Um, but that was our story. So believe in prayers, believe in good people. It was just another testament that there are good people in this world. Hi McKenna, I love you. <laughs> Um, there are good people in this world. Thank you to everyone who shared about our car missing. I know there was a lot of you that started posting and sharing for us. Um, obviously, the Lord is telling me that my work is not done here on social media, regardless of what people are saying um, and of what could happen. Andy, even Andy was even like, Tia, bad and good happens everywhere. Bad is going to happen. If you're doing big things and good things, like bad's going to happen if you're, and, and good's going to happen. So we just have to remember that, you know, it's not always just going to be good, 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 good all the time. Like we have to remember that. So there's things that we're going to do different. Like Andy's, we're going to make sure that we're always locking our cars and pulling our keys inside, locking our house at night. We got a security system today. <laughs> Andy got us a security system today that we're gonna put on the house. So everyone out there, we gonna lock up our houses. We're gonna lock up our windows. Um, and just remember that there is more good in this world than bad. And if you feel right about spreading goodness, then spread it. Don't stop shining your light. Don't stop doing good things. Um, just because something bad can happen, you know? I feel like anything, this family's so awesome. Okay, look at my cute neighbors. They are racing right now. I just missed them, dang it. But happy birthday to Legend. We had a fun birthday. Legend got a fun surprise that I'm gonna put in my stories. And maybe if I can get my video to work, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. I just did like a little um, clips video today that was fun throughout the day that I wanna share. If I can get it really fastly done tonight and put it up there, but he was so excited. Legend's the cutest. If we get Legend a box, he's like excited about it. He loves it, but um, we are so excited. Look at. Okay, we want we want to see your guys' race, Alkires. I want to see your race. Okay, Jays, I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, there goes Brooklyn. We got the cutest family out here racing. My neighbors are the best. And we're going to get a P.O. box like tomorrow so we can start giving out our P.O. box information. Okay, guys? So... Be really on the up for that so I can see you guys all the time. Let's see if we're going to see them. You guys want to see them before we go? Happy birthday. Thank you, Gabby. Hi, Sally. We love you. Look at the cutest young. Oh, come on, Cammy! <laughs> They're so cute. We love our neighbors. We have the best neighbors ever. Okay, you guys. Major, we'll play our song goodnight oh. while we dance it out. Uh-oh, don't scratch my thing. 
Um, anyways, that was our exciting story. It was pretty crazy and pretty adventurous and the Lord is amazing. He is incredible and he is, yeah, for reals, God is always in the details for sure, you guys, like Kim would say, right? Um, but don't forget, if you guys are here, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, dance it out with us. Dance it out. And I know it ain't pretty. Look down there, is he still sleeping, Taz? Yep. Tazzy is passed out, guys. He had a hard day today. I love you, Cam. Thanks for visiting me today. I love you, Amber. Don't forget to drop where you guys are from. Below, hit that like button. My mom's amazing. I know my mom had a big hand in that, finding our car today. About these days, these days, all our troubles, we lay to rest and Hi, Boston, Minnesota. Love you, Lisa. Susie, Utah. Uh, I go back tomorrow. I go back every day for clinic. Every single day. Every single day. Every day. Yes. We love you. I'll give Legend the biggest hug ever, Stephanie. Hi, Vicky. I know. My major's the bomb. He loves his mama. He's a mama's boy. Oh, yeah. 